all right you are still watching ways interesting <laughs> The 2023 election was one of the closest election, uh, presidential elections in Nigeria's history. Bola Ahmed Tinubu was declared winner with 37% of the vote, and his two main challengers, Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi, alleged irregularities and filed mm -hmm. legal challenges to um, legal challenges for the, the results. Now, however, the court rejected all of Peter Obi and Abubakar's claim including allegations of fraud charges. Um, the electoral authorities broke the law that Tinumbu was ineligible to run. The charges that said that the electoral people broke the law. And the during the election, um, the Independent National Electoral Commission introduced the biometrics technology um, and the IREF, a central database for uploading results in real time to ensure transparency. However, the elections were riddled with anomalies, with the INEC even acknowledging glitches, but dismissing claims that the votes were not free and fair. So now some critics claim that the technical problem and delays had, um, had allowed opportunities for vote manipulation and seen the re realities of the post um, tribunal elections that had, I mean, the judgment rather that happened yesterday. Today we are asking, how can Nigerians manage their expectations? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 01 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow. Oh, shoot. We're not supposed to be tweeting. It's X. <laughs> X. Exos. That tweet has entered my, my DNA. I need to go and. You know, but hey, it's this is exit. where we are. Mm. Um, I like to say that I wasn't expecting anything different to happen from what eventually happened mm. at the tribunal. I just wish they had just announced it a long time ago so that a lot of people would mm. move on. Because so many people were like, you know, stuck you know, decisions that needed to be made and all of that. Everybody was just stuck waiting and all of that. So I don't know. But let me come to you ladies, right? When the judgment happened yesterday, um, what came to your mind? And, you know, was it you, what you were expecting? And, you know, yeah, if it wasn't, how did you manage it? Truth, I wasn't even really interested. Of course, there was a whole lot of noise. Everybody was looking forward to it, it started, I mean, we're seeing a lot of memes around, you know, with pictures of the people who were at the tribunal, you know, sleeping and all that. There was all that. I was busy yesterday, but I mean, eventually when it came out, I wasn't really expecting anything different, really. I was just like, um, like you said, um, I wish um, it had come, you know, well before yesterday and, um, people we've just moved past it because again it's almost like um reopening fresh wounds you know um people now are going back to february it's like a reenactment of what happened in february a lot of emotions are on the rise again and um the semblance of um peace that we somehow had over the last maybe couple of long weeks is is shaky right now because i mean since yesterday there's also been a lot of um um a lot of outcry so to say across social media platforms mm. and all that so really i wasn't really expecting anything overly different and um it just <sighs> i wasn't expecting anything different <laughs> <laughs> She was not expecting anything different Honestly, from Bala I, I wasn't. <laughs> See, go ahead. I, I think um, if we want to be quite honest, we're, we all find ourselves with the same kind of emotions. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole lot of mixed feelings. And like you said, we're not surprised. Mm -hmm. But I was one of those people who I was praying that they would, I would be disappointed. Yeah. I was praying I would be disappointed, and I wasn't, to the best of my surprise. Mm. And it's, it's, it, it says a lot. And 
there's a lot to be said, but I am. I, I think Nigerians are getting to the point where they're you're out of words. You're you're just. I think where I am now is numb. That's the word. So I don't know how to feel. It's not like so I don't understand. It's not, wait, it's not like I did not expect it. Mm. But like I said, I was hoping I would be disappointed. So wait. in one way or the other. So in your mind, yeah. If the court had come out to say that yes, the claims for from Atiku and Obi yeah. were true, mm -hmm. and they have to probably maybe do a rerun on all of that, would that have been, you know, a better judgment? Because I don't know if I was hoping for a rerun. I was just hoping that the justice system, in some form, so what makes you think? Because that again, this is, this is yes. That this because is you see, justice. the yeah. expectations that we are having is that. Whatever it is that we have chosen to say, these are maybe in our mind. That's the right. Yeah. That's, that's the right that's thing. The right thing. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. what makes us feel like this is not just because. Not, I wouldn't. No, like, no. I'm I saying to you that because the presidential, um, what's the name? The tribunal committee mm -hmm. or what yeah. do they call them? Right. They will tell the you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They would. Th they would tell you that this was a thorough job that they had screened. In fact, that's why they wasted a lot of time. A lot of people were sleeping. Mm. And snoring it. Like they did line by line. Line they by line. line. Yeah. And, yeah. You know? Yeah. And they would tell yeah. you that they did a very thorough job. And they, of course, they threw out. So, like, literally. <laughs> okay, so. They sorry. had to bring this picture. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Sorry, so, I mean. I'm just trying to explain to you I, I that. I like, absolutely like, get you. What do you want to think? Mm -hmm. Like, so are you trying to say now that maybe if they said, okay, yes, there was a false. Or there were some anomalies and they agree and all of that. Would that have been like okay, yes? This is the judgment. Do you understand? That this exactly. is this is justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What determines justice is facts. Yeah, absolutely. Devoid of emotions, really. Yeah, really. One of the things that um, one of the lines you know that I heard was because of course the petition they they replied each petition you know um, line by line and all that. And one of the things that they had said was. Um, in one of the petitions that um, the um, that um, Mr. Obi had said that um, he won by majority in a lot of states and all that. Mm -hmm. So the the question was, if you won by majority in the states, why do you want a rerun of election? Mm -hmm. I mean, that was the answer the tribunal gave to that. You, I, I heard that line yeah. and I was just like, hmm. Okay, I mean that, that, that makes sense. sense. No, he can ask I mean, for a rerun because he's confident that he'll win again. If he says he won, yeah. do you understand? Mm -hmm. If he asks for a rerun, the people that came That's out to vote for him, they will, they will come back option. to mm -hmm. they'll come back because to Because is either that if, because if it has been proven that he that it was actually there was actually some manipulation of some sort, mm -hmm. if they were able to prove it, mm -hmm. then it's a case of they can't just can they can't just give it to you. Okay. Do you understand? Sometimes it depends on how you know it, it, the the process is supposed to be they mm. can't just give it to you so you could actually one of the options could be a rerun mm. for you to take the elections again mm. and see if yeah. that truly would be the outcome eventually oh, 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 so okay. in my mind mm. right uh, in this election this is based on my layman perspective mm. i don't think atiku was present in this election right the real competition was between bola yeah. and peter Obi. but the challenge is how he how he emerged second is what baffles me. You know why I say this? Because again, you take sampling when you're collecting yeah. data. Yeah. When they want to collect data, for instance, from a pool of people, mm. they don't just come and say everybody must respond to that survey. Mm. So what they can do is that out of ten people, say let's say five people responded, or let's say even six people responded, and the majority of that response, you know, carry so they just use that as like a was it called an estimation, and that's how they take on some of this data collation. Help for, correct me if I'm wrong, because now in a data data space, that's what they do, yeah. a pool of data. And if you look at the clusters, right, where, you know, the ones we counted physically in in the elections, right. So the the competition on those ballot boxes and um, papers, rather, was more between APC and Labour okay. Party. Mm -hmm. You know, so how a PDP emerged second, this is me thinking that I still want to understand it. That's one. Number two, the structure of Nigeria is structured in a way that, or the system in Nigeria is structured in a way that we are not allowed to ask questions. 
So when you say that go to court, eh -eh, you don't go to court. Nobody is going to ask literally li because, okay, now you write an exam, for instance. What stops me from applying to JAM? I want to see my script. You gave me maybe 10 in English. You gave me two in math and all of that. Please, can I recall my script and let us vet it? If they say he without uh, whatever, mm -hmm. come, uh, we, we come, come out with clean hands. Uh, what's that proverb that they say? You don't fear anything. Do you understand? Yes. You don't fear anything. So, but you see, Nigeria is structured in a way that go to any parastata. If you begin to ask questions, you want to, you want to check what is happening, right? It is almost like it's a taboo mm -hmm. for you to ask it. It's almost because we, Do you understand? we know because that there's something wrong. There's always something yeah. to find. No, out. so because we are always there. Now, when somebody challenges something, yeah. they say, what do you think? Who do you think say you be? You know, and all of that. So I've seen a lot of insults. I've seen a lot of things, you know, on social media. I just deliberately stayed away from this. But the reason we are having this conversation, I need Nigerians to manage their expectation. What anybody is seeing be it good, be it bad, is a symptom of something. Yeah. We have a fundamental accountability trust deficit, mm -hmm. right? In Nigeria, it is a fundamental. And it cuts across all places. Private, Jonathan, private, public sector, everywhere. Mm -hmm. We have that accountability issue. So it is not so what we are seeing is just a symptom of a larger problem. So when you were saying that you were expecting so UK if the court has said, oh, no, Bola had met Tinubu was not it. No, but right, right. you know, for, Would me, that be an ex so for me, it wasn't that. I was even expecting the judicial system for it, for the case to be taken differently. I did not even, during the course of this thing, until this judgment, I didn't even know the judgment was happening yesterday until I got to the office and like, everybody was interested in it. But mine is even how the judicial system goes about it in terms of, I did not even see how the petitions were tackled before they came to do you understand? So they, they, no, the people like that have been going to court, yeah, they've been they monitoring. Yeah, they've been so monitoring. That's the thing. So we are just made to react. Mm -hmm. We're talking about expectations. But that's why I'm saying I wasn't expecting anything different because what will happen will happen. But there's still a reaction that has to happen mm -hmm. in terms of you would just think ex have certain expectations of either the judicial system in terms of how things, the process was being conducted and how even the public was being informed on what was going on. This thing what has just been happening, and yes, we've been seeing this back and forth, just a lot of script writing without any summary as to, okay, is it, and that's why there have been a lot of speculations, because nobody even knew the direction as to which it was going. Do you get? So at the end of the day, now it has happened, and everybody's just like, okay, for the people who expected it to happen like this, they'll take it like that. For the people who were expecting, okay, based on maybe what you've watched in movies on how a judicial... No, no, I'm telling you the honest truth. You're, you don't understand. You're talking about expectations. We're talking about people who have never been in a, 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 a court of law, but they know that this is the case. There is a case. Yeah, what is sweet? Judge, yeah. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> for, people, for a lot of people who have been watching, you know, a lot of, you know, well... But curated, well curated cases on how you know you ask questions. So um, worry, I will do a movie. You're one of the respondents. <laughs> what do you have to say about what's your own? You know, if you didn't see that, the next thing you just saw judgment. So you're like, what? No, so, really no. I think it, 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 it happened. It happened. No, I know it happened. It the, it, it the, the, people, happened. the people were going to court. Yeah, it was almost not just all the yes, it was not just yeah. the news. No, so, so an extent. Go ahead, Yola. Let me let you. There's nothing to go ahead. <laughs> no, but, it's but, so, but I think a lot of people were expecting. Uh, well, if I go by social media vibe, yesterday a lot of people were expecting something different. No, they were expecting this. No, really. Yeah. Some people were expecting something yeah, different. Yeah, they were that expecting what? different. That uh, you know, for some reason. Must be and I remember in the that la -la -la I joked. So, so why why I would say they were expecting something different? Mm. You were expecting something different because there were you know um, different parties. All the parties, whether Labour Party, yeah. APC, everybody had weaknesses. Mm. Yeah. So all of them were thrown out. Oh, that's the thing. So everybody, we don't. That's what I'm saying. We don't even understand. So let me let me get let me processes. Let me let me say where my happened. grouse this is happened. with mm. this judicial system. Them that whatever it is that they did, you cannot say you understand that some of those evidence you understand you can throw away some, but you can't throw away all. Mm -hmm. It is impossible. 
for everything to be just thrown out. Like, how do you do those things? So that's why I'm, eh? You say what? They had this plan. You know, you know why I'm saying this? Let's move far away from Nigeria to, to Obodoibo, US. Where is Donald Trump today? Oh, we are going too far. No, where is he today? Do you understand? Mm. He's a, a, a past president. Mm. You know, there are and so people. many. Yeah. Yes. And not only that, because of what had happened at the Capitol um, building, the yeah. Senate building, yeah. they had video evidences. So you cannot say that people were not hurt. You cannot say that some of the, you understand, that there was You cannot say that there were no violence. At least social media has made life so easy. And social media has made a of a couple of There are too things. many so things. Much. That's why I have an issue. Because for me, if some things stood, do you understand? If some things stood, some evidence stood, I would say, okay, they, this evidence, but they said, um, you know, they give, uh, uh, what's, the, what's the word? After the... the explanation of what? Like they, they go, you go to the entire process, mm -hmm. you go to the whole court sessions, and you know, where they either you're either for or against, you're speaking about whatever the petition is. So, you're defendant you're and talking to yeah. the defendants, you're mm -hmm. talking to the witnesses, mm -hmm. and you're taking statements and all that. There's a process to that when you collate all that information, mm -hmm. there's some investigation that is done to to ascertain like the yeah. credibility of some of these things. Yeah. So you know that some of these things, it, I'm sure that there were videos that were put up there, whether for um, PDP or for LP or for APC. Those things, you can't now tell me that all those evidences were just thrown out and the people were not, for one reason or the other, the people were not viable enough for you to use their evidence as in court for the case. Mm. So I'm due to that, by the time you throw, I have 100, maybe, um, 20 witnesses, and you throw out like 15, and then you make the remaining five inconsequential. Of course, at the end of the day, we're going to come up with the kind of verdict we got, which is based on the fact that there were not enough evidences. Mm. Okay. Mr. Peter B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, says that he rejected the presidential election mm. petition court judgment that was delivered, you know, um, or that was delivered, and he has said that he's going to the Supreme Court. We'll take a break now. When you want to say something, when we come back, you say it. <laughs> when you come back from that break, please, I want to hear what you are saying, and I want to know how you are managing your expectations, because trust me, I think it's important everybody manages their expectations in this country. Stay with us for very far. Okay, if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're discussing the post-tribunal judgment, right? And we're asking, how can Nigerians manage their expectation? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation, send us an SMS, or WhatsApp is right, 1-803-84663. You can also call the phone line. is now open. The number to call is 070-2500-7749. That's the number to call. Remember to turn off the volume of whatever device it is you're watching us from. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we have a caller. <laughs> All right, you're live. Okay, I think they're trying to connect. Okay, uh, Jada, you wanted to say something? No, okay. you're waiting for the caller. No, I'm <laughs> waiting for the caller. <laughs> <Say> much. <laughs> okay, so um, I think um, what I want to say is actually based on what NG said about um, you know, um, going through the investigation of all the evidences and all. But again, I am mindful of the fact that um, law is very tricky. Mm. Court systems are very tricky. Let me take away hold that thought. <laughs> Youngest old man, you're live. Oh, yeah, you're my excuse for it before you go pick my cup. <laughs> 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 you know, as a beer lawyer, I'm creating competition. <laughs> ah, God. Nigeria cruise. <laughs> you know, uh, the joy about all these things is that <laughs> we are gradually laying a foundation, you understand, for the future, whether positive or negative. Because everything that happens today, yesterday, and tomorrow will still be referenced to one day. Now, if you think you are making the box, you are doing whatever you are doing, trashing whatever that needs to be trashed, 
If you are not alive to be accountable to what you've done, people that lived after you with your name will account for it. Mm -hmm. And nothing, nobody forgets, especially the internet. You understand? In my village today, I'll hear some of my elders saying things, referencing to a family of what happened even before Nigeria decolonized Nigeria in a social -so family. Now, that is how deep some things that we do today will haunt us in the future. Mm. I'm not after them doing anything they need to do. Just make sure that you are smart about what you do and think about the future. But for me, I am calm. I am good. I did not expect anything because the body language was so loud. So it's only somebody that is, that is whoever he is that does not see the body language. As a matter of fact, I was not expecting much yesterday and it came the way I predicted. So I thank God for life and I they pity those where they wrong the future because mm -hmm. they will, their name will live to account for it. And if I thought there's a heaven, they go work there upstairs. I can't see what you do. So basically, everybody should just spread with caution and keep your sanity intact. If you follow Niger level, you go crazy. So. Mm. But uh, the other man too, I know him because he I've followed some of his issues in Anambra. Hey, they don't buy markets. Peter will be, he never gives up. Let's just see how it goes. Thank you very much. And mm. uh, he's actually a very, very uh, what's the word? Uh, resolute, resolute person. Very consistent. Very co so the tutu don't buy market, <laughs> you know. Um yeah, Jola, you were saying that the evidence is that... Um... Well, I mean, now it's... Um, again, you can have all these evidences, but um, where the side that presented the evidences, were they able to do justice to presenting it well? To defend? To no, defend. No, you know, say not be small people did that, that court. See? See, I have seen cases mm. eh, where you would think that our uh, uh, pleas for the Diola. love of the Almighty, this thing is evident Diola. now. And then they come up with one loophole. And then you will ask that's yourself. What I, that's what I'm saying. There will always be a loop. That's why, that's the that's why you need to understand that this thing now, hey, let me take Loma for mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Loma, your life. Yo, good evening, my dear sister. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, See, I want to let us know one thing. <laughs> Just like the youngest old man has said, the judiciary has told the seed that will swallow people very soon. I'm telling you. See, what we do today for the fact that if you commit offense, you that commit that offense, once uh, the, uh, that thing that you commit, will recover back from you. You that commit that offense, you are free. Mm. They have set an example for us. I'm telling you. So, now let me just tell us one particular thing in this country. What we don't know. Mm. If because of politics, people will turn our constitution upside down. I'm telling you, very soon, our God will start fighting. Because we don't have army. We don't have police. We don't have every, uh, all the afternoons which uh, these politicians have, which once you make noise, before you know it, they will use it on you. Tell me, how can people come out and vote? And judiciary, who not somebody who had four who was fought to face position in Imo State, now again have done the same thing without standing their ground, calling a spade a case. Why can't you borrow a list from Kenya? Why can't we put a list from Malawi? You see their judiciary standing and saying that they cannot destroy their constitution. It's quite unfortunate. I am using this opportunity to tell Nigeria the way we will manage it, manage it with the way I do. What I do is that I remember how our judiciary does not stand on their ground. I told people around me, don't expect anything. Don't expect normal judiciary way of doing things. Because when you decide to align yourself, put your heart there, you can die of beauty, of blood pressure. So I'm using this opportunity to tell Nigeria, manage your life well, not fully well. One day, eh, all of them will stand before they sit on the throne of mercy and answer what they have done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Mm. You said today we deliver the money talk. <laughs>
you know what? the sad thing. I don't even have anything to say. When we say that uh, karma or anything, mm -hmm. they don't. You know they for Nigeria. They don't think of it like that. Yeah. They don't. Honestly. So 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 I. But it does. See, so Nobody let does, me explain. I don't know how to explain this thing, right? For us to expect anything different in this country, I feel like. It means you're not you're not you're not being hundred percent realistic, realistic with yourself. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? This conversation around the decision and all of that was made the day the this the, the results were announced. Finished. Do you understand? So I don't know how we expect anything different. And let me tell you, they will always punch the holes. That's why if you do not have a system, mm -hmm. right, that checks mate, do you get what I'm saying? It'll be difficult. Mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, let us just accept what has happened. Everybody on. face your work. Because me, I'm not interested in anything. Protest That's why I did not monitor it. Anything. But I think we have a caller. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Hello. You say your name is? Hello. Suleiman? Yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, number one. Both uh, the three petitions by Labour Party, PDP, and the other uh, yeah. they are the worst petition. Worst petition ever of. Uh, oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, Solomon, please can you call back because the the line is breaking. We can't hear you. Sorry. It's not clear. Yeah, it's not clear. You know, it's, it's very muffled. But I, I think I heard the part. He I think said he said the that, worst that, that all the parties are the worst presidential candidates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think oh. something like that. It's his, it's his, yeah, literally, it's his opinion. Oh, it's a personal opinion. It's a personal opinion. You know, honesty. Yeah, I, I've, and I, I, so part of managing expectations, what I actually want also to, to, to let Nigerians know, I've said this thing several times. We do not need a Messiah in this country. No. Messiah, whatever, cannot solve. All the problems problem that we time. have. We have to understand that our problem is collective. And no one human being, mark my word, not one, not one single human being can solve Nigeria's problem. Nigerians have to say that they are ready to solve because our problem. Because if you see zero corruption, would you be able to accept it? Exactly. If you see it, would you be... Because literally, every single thing we do, do you understand? We try to cut corners. Yeah. So all the things that we're complaining about, corruption and all of that thing, if we see a place that has zero tolerance, like zero tolerance for corruption, we would we be able to survive? So until we are ready for that, it's mm -hmm. not going to happen. Yeah. So all this other way, so that's why I say manage your expectations. Stop, you know, all this drama around, you know, saying that, hey, uh, this is the person, this is the candidate that will save Nigeria from the... It not go yeah. happen. Yeah. Nigeria, the problem of Nigeria is bigger than one human being. Mm -hmm. True. Right? So we agree 100% that we need the right people in power. Mm. But at the same time, we also need to start to think strategically mm. of how to solve the problem. Do you understand? They should, nobody should see you coming in this country. Because once these politicians see you coming, they will shut it down. They must not know your strategy. You must be able to dine and wine with the devil, and the devil will not know what you are up, up to. Right? I suppose just this conversation around, no. Look at President Buhari. I fell for it flat. I enter, I campaign. In fact, I adapt, they, there's nothing I did not do. Campaign and everything, because guess what? I was fooled. Believed. And that's why this particular election, I was not fooled by no promises. You know, I was fooled by the, I, the idea that he was anti-corruption. Mm -hmm. You know, he was going to kill corruption. Corruption was going to be dead. This was the person we needed to save Nigeria. Where did that land us? Mm -hmm. Look at all the drama ha happening around the MFLA and all the other people, all the monies that, like, I had 470 billion. I say, for, not million, 470 billion. Yay! Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, this is supposed to be a government that was zero corruption. The promise. And yet, under his own leadership, that we've biggest, experienced yeah, the, the worst yeah. kind of corruption ever. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying that Nigeria's problem is bigger than one human being. So mm -hmm. when somebody comes and says that this is 
uh, the, the challenges is this, you know, will happen. I absolutely agree. Do you understand? Let us just understand that the problem starts with you and I saying to ourselves, if I'm caught, the other day I was caught by road safety. Mm. I, they stopped me. They asked me for my driver's license. I gave them. They asked me for everything. The next thing the man asked me for was fire extinguisher. I said, I don't have it because I knew I'd emptied the, the trunk of the car. There was no fire. Maybe I'd moved it to the other car. So I didn't have it with me. Yeah. He said, eh, there's no fire extinguisher. I said, okay, yes, no problem. What's the situation? What do we do? And he has to write me a ticket. I said, no problem. He was literally shocked because I didn't want to argue with him. Mm -hmm. No, I have to write you a ticket. He said it like five times. I said, no problem. I heard you, sir. Just bring the ticket. Do you understand? He was, he was dumbfounded. Because mm -hmm. I didn't even, I didn't come down from my car. Mm -hmm. I didn't go down and say, oh, oh, God, please, now this. I was, I said, what's the worst case scenario? Even if they say I should go and bring one billion, I will look for the money and pay. It's mm -hmm. not fire extinguisher. Do you understand? So when they gave me the ticket, the lady came back again. I said, she wants to write the ticket. I said, yes, ma'am. I'm waiting for this. <laughs> like, literally, this they were thing? shocked. Yeah. This one just got back. Not even that one. Just got back. They just. Do you understand? They this one a problem. Them. You understand? Okay, they know that. Like, I'm already. They know that they can't cut corners. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So when they wrote the thing, they didn't even write the amount. I didn't even know how much it was. So I then called um, someone that I know that is the road safety person. You know, they called and said, "Oh, that it was maybe three five or something." I said, it's three five. Okay, no problem. You know, how do I pay? They said, "No, I have to go to." The I said, "Okay." You know, I said, "Don't worry that they can pay and everything and process the receipt and the." And they brought it. And now I said before, please, I, I don't told. I said, please, help me get fire extinguisher. And then um, the sea caution. Because there was no sign, there was no sea caution. So that when I'm going to go and collect it, then I'm not asking for another thing. By the time I went there, I presented it. Oh, have you, the, what was your offense, madam? I said, my offense was that I didn't have fire extinguisher. Okay, have you put it now? I said, yes, everything is in the car. You said, no, no problem. They gave me back my driver's license. The point I'm trying to make with this story is that Nigerians must be ready. Yeah. You must be ready to say, okay, you know what? If you are caught, violating laws you pay the, the, con the, the consequences yeah. once we start to like read ourselves of that 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 drama of edge or edge or edge you understand if you are caught just go and pay don't do too much drama even the law enforcement agencies by themselves they will change because they yeah. will not be catching people anymore yeah there will be there will be no need because everybody has conformed conform but that mindset has to come from us we need to change our mindset to say we are ready you understand? If we see zero corruption, even we too, we are ready. We can't even, I think that, in my opinion, I think that zero corruption is going too far. Mm. Because there's a lot of corruption. So it's going from a lot of corruption to, to zero. zero. It's, it's a heart attack. Mm. But what we're trying, what I get you're trying to say, Lua, is that it's time for us to be, to hold ourselves accountable first. So start watching what you do. Start holding yourself accountable. When you do have those um, experiences, like I ha I've had that experience before, and when they even told me I had to pay to the bank, I told them, do you know what? I'm going back to the island. So I'll drop the money with you. I'll come back like tomorrow, the next time I'm on the mainland, and I'll come and get my ticket. The guy was surprised. And I called him like three, two days later, and I was like, I'm here to collect. They were looking at me like, I'm like, yeah, I need my ticket. I paid to you guys. So for some reason, if I ever need to present this, I want to have the origin, and I want to be sure that you paid. I didn't give them. They asked me for the money. No, I, said, I no. gave. No, I gave them, and I came back. I told them I was going to come back. So when I came back, when I called and I said I was on my way. So if you haven't paid, go to the bank, pay, and give me get me my receipt ready when I come. So the major thing is for us to become start becoming accountable when you do things. Be careful. You see things like you want a clean, you want a clean environment. Stop throwing trash on the road. Yeah, I had to be conscious about that. To an extent and that is where the accountability starts from i have a bin in my car in all my cars so you want a clean uh, air stop polluting the air service your car drive if your car is too old do away with it and change it to another one if you can't do that get an okada get a bike get something get a bicycle do something else do you understand help the environment if you're interested in the environment help be the change you, you want understand? to be see. Be the change you want to see. Start mm -hmm. holding yourself accountable. I know that we're not, I'm not 100%. But the fact that the moment we start even that process, the next person sees it. Someone yeah. else is learning. Someone else decides, oh, this is how she I mean, I have bad character. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not perfect. No. But I'm saying so, that if in we... In the interest of nation in the, building, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. For the collective good of people, yeah, right? Yeah. Let's stop mm -hmm. all this drama. Because Nigerians were so quick to yeah. say... Oh, this is the so devil. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you understand? Yeah, like yeah. you point at one person. It's not mm -hmm. one person that corrupts Nigeria. No. 
No. It is everybody. And you forget that three. In fact, the truth is um, leaders are a product of their followers. If you have bad followers, you have bad leaders. That, that, Wait, where did, they, did, they, did we harvest our exactly. leaders? Exactly, you're not aliens. They are from us. So, exactly. So, we have a part to play. A lot, in fact. A lot. Every day, we do. We, we have to wake up to say, okay, you know what? I need to do better. I need to be like, absolutely in fact and you know I, like literally right let's even start with this one that i've described all the roads road uh, management agencies mm. lasma road safety all of them mm. do you understand as long as you did not deliberately go out of your way to break the law that's when you because that's when you bribe yeah so for instance me going to go and take it one way uh, i'll have to bribe my way out of that one yeah. do you understand but S simple offenses like this that oh your tail light is broken your whatever is broken and they say oh come and pay a fine please by all means pay that fine and move on do you understand because you see until we start to say to these guys that we are ready to 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 um, what's it called the, for, to accept the consequences of our actions yeah. right then we are, we are sending a very strong message let us just plan say the next four years in nigeria that every single Nigerian begins begin to say that you know what, for anything that I do, any offense or whatever, if I need to do this, I would do it right. I would be upright. I will not trash uh, things out of the car. I will make sure that I become a responsible citizen. Mm -hmm. Just the wait, things will change. Yeah. By the time you get to the next cycle of elections, yeah, the F, the atmosphere would have changed. Mm -hmm. So literally, if we want to see change, it is that, and that's why. You know, when I saw this judgment, the tribunal, all the drama that is happening on social media, I said, please, let us all just manage mm. our expectations. Because if, if it is for the system that we have in Nigeria, nothing good can come out of this system as it is. Some things must deliberately, with intentionality, be changed or true, tweaked true. before we can see any change. Mm. So if those things have not been put in place, mm -hmm. you cannot see anything yeah. else. You cannot expect anything. They say insanity is the, the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting result. a different result. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I Abed, mean, let us pass in our final comments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Be the change you want to see. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I think I, I I don't think there's anything to say other than that, and I I I feel like um, we should just um, move on. Yeah, move on from this. Learn the lessons to be learned. If it's for the for the different parties, next time you have you have a petition, ensure that you have the right case. Because sometimes you lose cases. Also, this is going to the you know the different parties. Sometimes you lose cases based on the fact that you just take it lightly. Because to an extent, if the court is saying, I don't think so. Uh, no, NJ, I I beg to disagree. You know why I say I'm I not saying that that is the case. No, you know why I beg to disagree. I, I want to just like nip that thing. Yeah. You know why I say that. People that went to this tribunal, yeah. they're not small lawyers. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? They are senior advocates of Nigeria, of of Nigeria. They are sons. <laughs> Have you seen the thorough work that even small charge and big? Do you understand? Do you see thorough work that they put? <laughs> we have a faulty judiciary system. Mm. Do you understand? And this is my opinion. I don't know about any other person. Because I, I, sh I, I dread anything that takes me to police station, to hospital, to court in Nigeria. You see these three places? I dread it. Anything that will take me there, I just run away from it. Do you understand? Because the odds are against... You Anybody that decides that they want to stand up upright and all of that. Mm. So before we even say, oh, get your facts right, get your this right. Now who decides say the fact? Because at the end of the day, you see, lawyers are very funny. They'll tell you that they, the interpretation of the law is left for the whatever. Mm. Yeah. Like, you know, they, they, they know all their their terminologies. They don't make the same man said say now who now like who now who do grab grab pass now in win. Yes, in now. terms of because that's how it's like a jungle system who, that who, is who, 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 whoever yeah. makes the loudest said, noise yeah makes the loudest noise whoever can rig the most whoever has more power whoever has more absolutely influence, it now becomes a thing and that is 
we are supposed to get to the point where we're over that. Absolutely. We need to get to that point where we're over that. Over it. That does not help. Yeah. The collective. Mm. Just go it. above all of these things. Rise above it and just go and become a lot more strategic. Mm. Whatever it is you want to do. On that note, they are shouting in my ear, fold the rap. I'm not going to fold it. <laughs> I will not fold it. <laughs> we'll take a eh? I said we'll take a break. We are going. Make <laughs> sure you follow us across all our social media. Me, I've entered the rest mode. Nigeria cannot stress me. Mm-hmm. Enter, uh, I mean, follow us across all our social media handles. Like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. If you missed our quote for today, here it is again. It says that the law is tried that a party affected by a judgment or who has a benefit to derive from the subject matter of a case may appeal any decision of a court or tribunal. So presidential candidates, um, what's their name? Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi have said that they are going to the, is it appeal court now or Supreme, Supreme court? court? Whatever court, they are going to somewhere else. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your strange child. <laughs>